If I shaved, they may have had to amputate my leg. My hairy leg made social media have an uproar. I'm Millie McClay and I didn't shave my legs for six months. When I had the metal cage on, I made sure I had a routine with my day. So I would wake up, I had to sleep with my leg elevated. I would have breakfast and then I would clean all of the metal holes, all of the metal in my leg. It was about a year ago now. I was riding and unfortunately my horse bolted out of control onto the road as it was raining. She then slipped, you know, half a ton of horse landed on my left leg, which caused me to have an open tib fib fracture. The doctor said this is the worst break we've ever seen in this hospital and that is unlikely you'll ever be able to walk again. Previous to my accident, I was very outgoing. I was very extroverted. So it was very difficult for me. In the first couple of months, I was completely bed bound. video that really went viral was where I showed how quickly the hair had grown on my leg. Lots of people were very shocked by how hairy a woman could be. If I shave my leg, there's a risk of it getting infected. So I didn't want to risk losing my leg just for aesthetic purposes. So I was so excited to get my cage removed. I came back from hospital. What I didn't realize was that the bone hadn't set properly. So my leg was actually collapsing and it had broken again. The more risky surgery was a more invasive surgery, which was internal metal work, which is what I decided to do. I did find people did stare a lot. I did have a lot of comments, but to be honest, I didn't really mind. The comments didn't really affect me because I also had a lot of positive comments online and I just chose to read into those comments instead. I think actually the weirdest thing about this whole journey that I've shared online is how much more confident I actually feel now. People who do get abuse uh, because they want to grow out their natural hair or because they have natural hair. I think most grown women grow body hair. The cultural norm is to remove it, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to. The most important thing is you do it for yourself, whatever makes you feel best about yourself and you don't shave for anybody else.